everyone, my name is Tripper, and welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to show you guys how to get started with modding your guys' Assetto Corsa. So what I'm going to show you guys today is probably one of the best ways to get started with Assetto Corsa. And the first thing I'm going to be showing you guys today is going to be literally the number one thing that everybody should have installed with their Assetto Corsa. This is what you're going to be controlling your Assetto Corsa with. So basically with starting your races, choosing your car, choosing the track that you're going to use, the weather, the grid type, literally everything, race duration and all the AIs you're going to be using. And through this, we can choose a bunch of other mods, a bunch of types of races, and it's just a way better way of using your Assetto Corsa with mods. So the first thing you guys want to do is click the first download link down in the description below. And that'll bring you guys right down to this website here, the Assetto Corsa Club. All you guys are going to want to do, you can read through all of this if you want, if you want a little bit of background information of what content manager is like I head down to the bottom and then you should be able to see a little button that says download a light version there is going to be two versions of this that's why it says light so as it usually means light is the free version there is a paid version i do highly recommend getting the paid version but for today's demonstration at this minute there's no point in getting it until you've had a proper go with modding assetto corsa and for today i'm just going to be using the free one as well because that's what all of you guys will have of standard so all you guys want to do is click download the light version and then if you guys have an ad blocker it might take you to an ad i'm not really sure but i have ad blocker on so it won't take me to an ad and then open it on up and the necessity for this an essential that you're going to need for modding everything is a either the win zip or win ra or seven zip so if you don't have any of those also make sure you have those installed because that's how you open up these content managers, downloads, and pretty much every other mod with a Seto Corsa. So to install this, all you guys are gonna to wanna to do is go to your desktop, and then what you guys are gonna to wanna to do is grab the content manager on the EXE, and just like I have it right here, I'm gonna delete that just for the sake of the demonstration. Drag and drop this onto your desktop like so. And then from here, all you guys are gonna to wanna to do is double click on the content manager.exe. And once you double clicked on that, once you've set everything up, you will get a little menu like this. But no worries, if you guys haven't set it up already, I'm going to show you guys how to do it right now. So all you guys are going to want to do once you have your content manager drag and drop onto your desktop is simply double click on the EXE. But before we did it, if you guys seen with it installed, we had pretty much a whole menu which showed you guys like how to start a race and a bunch of other things. But this is starting from the bottom. So all you guys are going to want to do is it might automatically find your Assetto Corsa folder. But if you do have a custom Steam directory, it is going to probably fail to find it. That's why it hasn't found its way to my Assetto Corsa root folder. So to do this, all you guys are going to want to do is click change. Or you can navigate it through this way and type it all in. Just click change and then you can navigate it through here. So for most of you guys, if you do not have a custom directory, it should have already found it. But if it hasn't, all you guys are going to want to do is select the drive that you have your Steam games installed on. So for those of you guys who have a custom directory, it's probably going to be over here. Go to Program Files 86. Go to Steam. Steam Maps. And then Common. And inside of here will be your Assetto Corsa. But if it isn't there and you have a custom Steam directory like me, just find your custom Steam directory. Like so, my Steam Directory is literally just over here. You go into whatever drive, Steam Library. And then under Steam Library, do the exact same thing. Go into Common, and my Assetto Corsa will be right here. And once you've clicked on the Assetto Corsa folder, that's all you need to do. Just hit OK. But if you do find that a little bit complicated on Steam, all you guys are going to do is open Steam. And let that start up. And then once your Steam is started up, what you guys are going to want to do is a really simple way to find any of your game directories, not just Assetto Corsa, is right click on here and then go to manage and then browse local files. And this will take you straight to your Assetto Corsa game files. And then all you guys are going to want to do is click copy address as text and then literally just paste it in here. That is another simple way of finding your game main directory and it'll work for any other game that you may be modding in the future. So all you guys are going to want to do is type in your Steam ID. If you don't have that already, I will leave a little 
website link down below which will tell you guys how to get your Steam ID. I'm not going to show it today because it pretty much fills it out for everyone else because if you're not using Steam then you're, I'm, pr I'm pretty sure there isn't any other way of getting a set of Corsa. Probably wrong but normally it will automatically detect your Steam ID. But for your name just put whatever you want. I have it as my YouTube channel Highway Trooper and then for the shortcut you can choose to have one. I already have a shortcut created so you don't need to bother with that. But then would you like to install some plugins as well? Uh, all you're going to want to do here is just install the 7-zip plugin. So just hit install and then that's literally all you guys are going to need to install. And once you've done all of that, all you guys want to head down to is click OK. Once you've clicked OK, you will be greeted to a familiar menu that I showed you guys at the beginning of the video. So all you guys want to do is hit maximize. And if you guys see here, it will you should have a little red dot next to the three lines. If you don't, that's okay. Your game is already up to date. But click it and then click the update to version and then the latest version that it gives you. And it should automatically update your content manager to the latest version. So all you guys are going to want to do now in the future is just check out for that little red dot up here telling you to update and make sure you guys do update it when needs be because that will make sure your game is up to date, always running and always working. But I'm going to show you guys just a little in and out through this menu. So right here is going to be your standard driving and setting up a race. So right here, you can pretty much choose everything from what kind of lap you want to do, the racetrack that you want to drive on, the car that you want to use, the weather and the temperature, the wind, literally everything you guys can see right here is what you control. It's pretty self-explanatory. And over here, you can also choose the type of level you want to drive on. But there is something you need to be aware with this is if you guys are using a sim rig when you hop in game for the first time and you have your steering wheel you are going to need to change your settings through this because it will launch every setting off of this so it will not reset your key bindings if you're on controller or keyboard don't worry about that but it might change them around a little bit sometimes it shouldn't if you already have a preset saved on this menu here because it is launching it kind of a completely different way instead of through steam a little bit complicated but that is just how it works but here you can also change on your penalty to jump start. And it's pretty self-explanatory over here. You can change from practice laps and you can just tick all of these. And it pretty much makes a lot of sense if you just to read into it a little bit. Now, obviously, you can choose your tracks right here. So from all your countries, if you haven't modded anything in yet. As you guys can see here, I do have a couple of modded in game folders and races that I already have. Do not worry. I'm going to be making a couple of new videos that will show you guys how to install those as well. As long as this video does well. I've never done an Assetto Corsa tutorial before, but I did recently get into modeling Assetto Corsa in a while. I thought I'd hop on the trend and I thought I would do a tutorial for you guys. So once you've done and looked through all this menu here, you can also hop onto the live. That's pretty self-explanatory. This is going to be live races. Online is going to be online races again. Maybe you can race with your friends. This is kind of like 5M if you guys are familiar with 5M with GTA 5. And then Race You is kind of like a championship that you guys can do which involves online racing as well but a lot of the times they will need you to download a dlc which you normally have to pay for through the steam store over here you can see your lap times you guys can see i've done a couple of lap times it's saved some of my data but i have reset it since you guys can see all the cars i've used some of these cars here are modded so they're not originally in the game but it has already picked them up because i have just deleted my content manager for the sake of this video you guys can see here union island is a modded island but the rest of these are not but you can also go into your results this will show you results for the races but i haven't really done any competitive races yet since this will show you all your screenshots that you currently have and then content this is literally just all your cars here and in your settings this is kind of where things get a little bit complicated not that bad but generally this is just your content manager settings here your base settings nothing to do with your game as such this is just how content manager runs. You can look through here and choose all the settings if you feel free to do so. But in Assetto Corsa, as it says, this is gonna be your Assetto Corsa settings. So the first thing you guys wanna do is head over to apps and enable Python apps. This is for the future. Where I'm gonna show you guys how to install this sole thing right here, which is kind of like a weather app. And if you guys do subscribe right now and do like the video, turn those notifications on as long as this video is to do well, I'm going to be making sure I also do an update video following up to show you guys all the essentials for when it comes to modding a set of Corsa, like Soul, graphics mods, installing cars, installing maps. That'll all be in the next video. 
all in one video so you don't have to go anywhere else. But through here, this is pretty much every other settings. So your view and UI, you can change your field of view. I usually like to have it a little bit further out than this, maybe about 75. That's kind of like a nice way to do it. You can also change all your messages here. It's a way more customizable way of doing it all than you can normally. And through audio, you can pretty much just change every gain settings ever. If you guys are wondering what Fanatec is, it's basically a sim rig, but I'm assuming most of you guys know what that is anyway. And here you can enable a bunch of things like your chase camera, you can change the distance and it gives you a little preview. Right here, if I was to change the distance, you guys would be able to see how it changes the distance in the preview, which is pretty cool. And if you head over to the custom shaders patch, make sure you guys have this installed. So all you guys are gonna wanna do is head down to the available versions. For me, it is already installed. But if I was to delete the patch like this, it'll give you a little thing like this. So just hit install custom shaders patch. It will install it like this. It's gonna say for me to configs for custom shaders patch are missing to reinstall. I'm gonna hit yes, please, because I already have this. It might give you that option. If it doesn't, no worries. But also it's gonna automatically take you to the recommended version. I know it says recommended, but trust me guys, you never wanna stick on this version. Always go to the latest, which is this one right here. Unless it does say buggy, it wouldn't switch to that. But do go to the latest, it's never usually buggy. But if it is buggy, you can always downgrade to one below it and try it out. But at the minute, pretty much every mod like Soul and Graphics Mods do require the latest version available to you. So just click it and then it'll automatically update it for you. And through here are all of your settings. So you can go through all your settings and make sure everything is to your liking. So this is where the ellipse get a little bit cool and your graphics will majorly improve. So in your general patch settings, this is kind of just, as it says, your general patch. This will fix kind of like issues with game that comes normally. So as you guys can see here, fix missing gears with frequent shifting, which is pretty cool. And you can just alter a bunch of issues that the game does have from standard. This is a really cool option, break disc effects, and you can also add it so it will replace break disc shaders with a new one. As it says right here, it'll add dynamic wear and lighting and new heating, which is really, really cool. So it pretty much just over the whole game. And you get this from standard, just from installing content manager, which is absolutely awesome. And then this is another really cool way. It adds procedural grass. So it's really, really cool. You can change the quality. I have it on very high. You can change it to, I'm pretty sure, on the last on the max setting. But some of them you can change the settings with. Something that also is really useful is I'm pretty sure it should tell you your FPS somewhere over here on your last drive. If you find it, if I can't find it now, I'll leave it down in the description below where it is. I can never usually seem to remember where it is, but it will tell you the last FPS you've got on your last drive, which is really, really useful. And you can change it through here. Apps is what I was talking about earlier. This is how you enable them and how you change them. So your apps is basically all your custom apps that you have on Seto Corsa, which is going to be the sole weather add-ons that I'll show you guys how to install next video. But other than that, that's going to be end this video. I hope you guys did find this video useful. If you did, please be sure to subscribe since this is my first Seto Corsa tutorial. Be sure to like the video if you guys did find it useful and be sure to comment down below to make sure you remind me what to do next and make sure I do the correct video next. Uh, make sure you guys also comment down below because it just really, really helps me out in the algorithm. You can literally just comment full stop or you can literally comment full stop in letters. Someone did that last episode. Pretty funny. But thank you guys very much for watching this video and I'll see all of you guys in the next video. Cheers and goodbye.